Hi, my name is Adrian Spence. I'm the Artistic Director for Camerata Pacifica. And welcome to episode 50, flip and nine of Concerts at Home. We didn't know we'd be doing this again. This is my friend, Kristen Lee, Principal Violinist for Camerata Pacifica, and Annie Esnavurian, Principal Cellist for Camerata Pacifica. And we're in Han Hall at the Music Academy of the West because although we weren't able to present our January concerts, we have just recorded the uh, Brahms uh, String Quintet, the Opus 111. So you'll hear that in a few weeks. We're going to do four episodes of concerts at home. How's the week been, guys? You're here, but <laughs> no audiences. So, like, what? Well, bittersweet. I mean, we, we're so happy to be here and playing with each other. I, it's been a very thin <laughs> time of playing together. So it's starting to pick up. At least it was. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, and so it's, it's a shame that we can't play for the audiences because we feed off of audiences and we, they're as much to us as we are to them. So, um, so, but, but so happy to be in Santa Barbara and playing with each other and seeing each other after a long time too. Yeah, feelings are exactly the yeah. same. I, I haven't been here in a while. I'm trying to remember the last time I was actually here in actually, Santa Barbara. You were here. Oh, did you not come no, up to Santa no, Barbara? No, I was in LA for that. I was only in Los Angeles. I wasn't in Santa Barbara. So it's been a little while. And I always say this every time I come here, like, I feel like a better person. <laughs> I'm just smiling. The sun's great. And um, so I just love being here, first of all. But um, I have missed that chemistry and the energy of the camerata players. So it's been really well, nice. You're yeah. definitely a better person now. Okay. Because? <laughs> because? I made it. Because? I went Yes, she's a skydiver. Now you're a skydiver already. Three times. And I've skydived once or twice. So <laughs> yeah, but you've done one yeah. skydive. Yeah, the way to way to start a new year. I I think it was the perfect way to start the new year, actually. Yeah, thanks yeah. to, we, thanks we, to you. Well, it was a, it was a case of thanks to Nick. <laughs> for, for Nick. Right. So Nick Daniels here too, and because we were going to prep. Uh, Play, perform uh, a couple of vocal quartets, and then that got scratched because of everything. And we're going to record a couple of vocal quartets. And well, have we been tested enough for this week? <sighs> yes, we've um, been testing every single morning. Um, uh, the whole organization's been so generous to provide us with at-home tests. That was enough for every single day. Yeah, every day. Yes. So through all the rehearsals in here, and then Nick got sick, and everybody's like. And, but he got really sick, so uh, our, our, our friend Dr. Dodson checked him out and said, you know, he's too sick for COVID if he's been <laughs> vaccinated and boosted. He's too sick for us. And, it, and then he, we got him PCR tested, and it turns out he's got a dreadful flu, which is dreadful, but not so bad. So, but it also meant that you had some free time. Free time. Just <laughs> throw yourself out of an airplane. <laughs> No um, regrets, I loved it. Yeah. <laughs> and then, oh, it's, it's also, it's his 60th birthday. So on Sunday, and so we were going to have, a, originally the thought was we were going to have a big party for him, and then there was going to be a small party for him, and then it got cancelled. So we're going to have a small party tonight. Yeah. Once again, everybody's getting their negative tests. Anyway, happy birthday, Nick. You can happy happy birthday. birthday. <laughs> so, um, well, how has, how has it been? I mean, we, we, I don't think we're going to talk about music this time. We'll play some music for you later. But it's like everybody hasn't seen you and we haven't seen audiences. Mm -hmm. and what if, have you been playing much? Have you... Actually, um, it's, I feel like we're going through another uh, wave of cancellations. <laughs> but this last year was more or less a little bit more promising. Mm -hmm. So I was playing a lot, actually. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it felt like it was normal again a little bit. So I think what's really strange is that it kind of it keeps teasing us a little bit. You know, I don't know if you feel the same, but it feels like we were we were getting back into it and think things were getting normal, and then you're sort of pulling back. And I, you know, also knowing what it's like to run an organization. I mean, it's really exhausting, mm -hmm. you know, just to have to keep keep track of, okay, what are the rules now? What do we do now? Can we just keep things normal or do we have like five million things that we have to think about? And so I don't envy you guys having yeah. to, you know, change change plans every every hour almost. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. As, as 
regulations change. And but having said that, I feel like because every concert now is so meaningful, I think when we get together, I sense this with everybody, actually. Everyone really, nobody is just there because it's you know, the next thing that's on their agenda. <laughs> I feel like they give everything. I, I don't know if you've sensed that too. Absolutely. But, I mean, certainly myself too. I feel like this may be my last time I play again until things get you know, canceled. So mm. in that regard, it's been, it's been good in that way. <laughs> Hands up if you've had COVID. <laughs> I just had it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is this, this, this one's going around. I, I'm almost resigned. You read about doctors who are saying, yeah, we're resigned that we're going to catch it. Mm -hmm. I don't want to, I'm doing my best. And all from uh, our, our, the Camerata audience has been really great. We had 100% participation that everybody was double vaccinated and produced their vaccination cards. And we want to keep this, the space as safe for you as possible. So now we're going to be adding the booster requirement of that to get into our concert halls. Um, oh, that opening concert was so exciting. It was mm -hmm. so great to be back and see the audiences again and play with Paul and Jill and yeah, it was, it was exciting. Mm -hmm. yep. And now, <laughs> <laughs> well, I think this is just rug a, pulled out. I think it's just a, a break. I think it is getting better. Yeah, I think, I think well, so we too. Hope because it can also, another variant, the reason you have to get boosted and vaccinated, we don't want any more variants. Right. Let Omicron be the last one, the yeah. mild one. Yeah. We're all immune to it. <laughs> be the last one. So. But next January, um, uh, my, my colleague Roger and I were, we had set concert dates um, and now we're moving them just to create a six or seven week gap mm. around January thinking mm. that if there's another winter surge, we're just mm -hmm. not, we're not going to cancel. We'll mm. keep the same number of concerts, we're just mm -hmm. spreading That's them really out a good. bit. Yeah. yeah, so. <clears throat> but we've used the time to experiment with videos. And yeah, the Smetna, wasn't that a beautiful, beautiful video? Beautiful, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. and then we're, we're trying it here. I mean, you, you were the first guinea pig, I think. Right, yeah, I was, yeah. Mm. Right. And that's going to be the first piece we're going to play today, mm. one of the pieces from that set. Yeah. So we brought in lighting designers and, and different video fancy cameramen, like the guy standing behind us. <laughs> <laughs> and so the quality of video is changing. So, yeah, that's... We learned that from COVID, the value of those assets. Oh, and how, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. Anything else? Is that it? Just welcome to the audience? I can't wait. <gasps> well, wait a minute. Oh, no, 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 no. We, ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because we think we're going to do February, and you're, we've got this great program in February. You're going to play in with Jihei? Yes, yeah. Um, yeah, like Kevin Putz piece. But then also, that's actually, that's right. And then we got April's concert. That's all wins. That's the best concert of the year. And then we go back to strings. <laughs> <laughs> and then you two are going to be doing like just a, right. an incredibly nuts piece that see see who can outplay. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> so yeah. So we got three programs left in the season. So you're coming back next month to do some mm -hmm. Lou Harrison mm -hmm. and Kevin Poots. Yes. And then G is going to be doing. Some really interesting music. <laughs> Very cool things. <laughs> yeah, and Molly Markowski is going to be a part of that. And then we got a wind program. And then we got Gilles playing some Bach, and you playing the Handel Hal Halverson, mm -hmm. and the Schumann E flat major quartet. So we go out on a big romantic mm -hmm. high note. Mm -hmm. And that'll, that'll close out this season for us. So. <laughs> but it's so nice to have you guys thank back. You. Thank you for having yes. us. I'm happy to be here. Yeah. Love. Yeah. And my job, my, my 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 goal for everybody is to have you all vaccinated and boosted, and for every member of Camerata Pacific to become a skydiver. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'll help with that because so. <laughs> I'm a fan. <laughs> all right. So uh, enjoy the music, and uh, see you hopefully in February. Thanks, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.
Thank <laughs> you. 